And the thing with YouTube is that um, they now on their news and politics page, for example, they don't put the videos on there that are watched by the most amount of people. They select the videos, and the videos in news and politics aren't very much different from the ones on the front page. You know, it's like it's drunk footballers staggering around. That's right. That every every day they post the amazing atheist, and he'll and they, it'll have like twenty views. They post him. And by the end of the day, he's got a hundred thousand views. <laughs> Meanwhile, we'll have videos that get three hundred thousand views in a day, never on the front page. I mean, they admit. That they are phasing it all out, folks. It's happening. And that, I mean, it's because it's an unsustainable business model. YouTube are deep in the red. But unlike what would normally happen and, and that you would take advertising, they're just going to hand over the control of their entire content to these big Hollywood production studios. And when that happens, there's no place on there for Look. the Alex Jones channel or the Info Warrior. Look, what it's they do gone. is they, they know the model, and I've talked to a lot of CEOs and media people. They go, Alex, we know you'd be the biggest thing in the country or anybody else like you. We know this patriot, anti-New World Order stuff is the hottest thing. We know the whole world's in rebellion. And so what they do is they give the people a platform for a time to get us addicted, and then they just take it away. They, they, they want to dominate market share. And YouTube is bigger than all other video sharing sites combined. You can look at the, the graphs and statistics. And so they've dominated the market with freedom of speech, and now they're getting rid of it. And because they're moving in with Internet 2 to shut down the other sites. They couldn't do that till they were ready to shut down the others, or everybody would just leave. That's my point, is they're moving in with what Jay Rockefeller said, shutting down the web. Go ahead, Paul. That's right. And I mean, Rupert Murdoch said it a few days ago that the Internet in its current form cannot go on, that it's going to end, because they've lost a huge amount of uh, their audience. I'm talking about people like News Corporation with Fox News and uh, New York Post and new pe newspapers like that. And again, be these people mean business. They do everything they say they're going to do, or they try it. And they, and they never quit. They come back again and again. They're saying everywhere for seven years at Internet 2 conferences in Austin, Texas, in London, in Tokyo, read the minutes. They are going to kill the web and how they do it. And I told you how they do it. People, oh, shut up, Alex. That it, it, look, it's happening, folks. I, I'm sorry, Paul, to interrupt you. I'm just so angry about this. No, I mean, we, we said it all in early 2006, right, when MySpace was taking off. We wrote an article saying it's a Trojan horse. It's designed to centralize power on the Internet, get everybody to use MySpace as their little blog. And so, you know, when MySpace says that you can't have this political opinion or that political opinion, that's it. Your account's suspended. And we have their own internal documents, and they've admitted I am banned. They don't let me send our bulletins or videos. They let us have the page. We know we really have hundreds of thousands of members. They've frozen us at 55,000, and they admit they do it. We have their own moderators going, yeah, you're banned. Prison Planet and InfoWars are not allowed to be shared on MySpace. It's all, but it, and then they lie to the public, though, and say they're not doing it. Meanwhile, in England, Paul, you were trying to finish up. I'm going to hold you guys over again. Move the guest back. I apologize to the guest. We're going to, I really love the movie, and we're going to plug it. Just I've, I've got to finish up with five more minutes with you guys. Meanwhile, we've got to fight this, and that's why I tell the listeners, use YouTube. You, well, you can't use Google. I kept saying use Google before they shut down Google Video. Gone. Use YouTube. I'd say we're six months out from complete control unless we fight it. If there's enough of a rebellion... They may back off. And doppelgang, copy all our videos to every other major video site, Blip TV, you name it. But, folks, we got to do this now. Who are they censoring? Me, because we're effective. Kurt Nemo. Well, they don't have the resources as well to stop people from uploading unless they ban uploading altogether like Google's plans to do. Um, you, know, you know, so people can go in there and, and post your videos. And it's kind of like whack-a-mole to them. You know, they're going to have to keep trying to get rid of them. And it's going to be hard to do until they totally ban, you know, like Google has, any kind of uploads. Exactly. Well, well I mean, my point is, we are now here. They're now announcing that they've got bills introduced that will say you'll be a felony arrested if you criticize someone and they say they hurt their feelings. They sign an affidavit saying, my feelings are hurt, five years in prison, $200,000 fine, federal prison. Mainstream. They got bills to ban guns. Mainstream. The Attorney General saying, if I don't like you, you won't own a gun, and you'll never be able to get off the list. Mainstream. I mean, uh, you know, 14 plus trillion stolen in seven months. Mainstream. 
uh, FEMA camps being built, mainstream. Uh, I mean, it's all they're 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 taking over now, and they're going to kill the web as you know it. That's why we're on AM and FM shortwave. But they're saying they're going to censor with fairness doctrine that. Uh, that's why we got DVDs. You know, but I may get arrested, folks. I mean. At the end of the show today, I'm going to announce two new films. That's a little surprise. Two new films that we've made in the last month here, very quietly. So that's coming up at the end of the show today. The next segment, Reclaiming the Blade. Amazing film. This sucker, just you can't put it down. And no, we're not selling it, but we ought to. Uh, so that's coming up. Then your calls continually in the last hour, just blitzing your phone calls. Here's uh, one of the new new films. Oh, I'm going to be showing that to folks later at the end of the show. So uh, wait for that surprise. Very proud of my crew and what they've done, everybody here, together. Okay, in closing, I'm obnoxious and I'm not letting Kurt Nemo and Paul Watson talk because everything they say freaks me out and makes me want to expose more stuff I'm thinking of because it's so incredible that we're actually going into real tyranny. Uh, Paul Watson, closing comments on the censorship, the attack on free speech. Uh, England saying, spy on your neighbors if they're wearing nice jewelry. They show a picture of a guy with a boat in his yard and say, call the cops if your neighbor has, a, has things that are nice. Sp ask them questions about what they make. I mean, you know, they've done the bait and switch from this is for terrorism to this is for tax collection. This is getting bad. They're basically trying to get the population all suspicious of each other, and so... You know, it creates a kind of self-regulation of the Stasi police state. The previous poster campaigns put out by the London Metropolitan Police say that the people who look at CCTV cameras are suspicious. People that own mobile phones, computers, white vans, and people who live in apartments are suspicious and potentially terrorists. People who return items bought at a store and get a refund on their credit card are potential terrorists. And the list goes on and on. We've got a link to those previous articles. So basically they're just classifying the whole population as potential terrorists so that everybody watches and informs on each other and creates this Stasi state that they want. Well, that was certainly well said. And again, this isn't close to classical hardcore tyranny this is overblown i mean this is the real mccoy this if this was wrestling this is the rock this is hulk hogan uh this is you know, you know andre the giant i mean this is i mean this is hitler level uh this is stalin level this is mal level what they're attempting there's no doubt okay folks i'm not just saying that and we, we didn't just say this was an engineered flu virus. It's now come out. It clearly was. Kurt Nemo. And as well, this, this, uh, this whole paranoia, this social paranoia they're engendering, you know, complements their electronic police state that they're putting in, you know, where everything you do, every website you go to, every, every credit card transaction you make, every cell phone call you make is, is put into a database. So, you know, this complements that as well. And, you know, it's just... It's just the next level that they're they're ratcheting up, and and what's going on in England is going to end up coming here sooner. Or no, later. it's already here. Remember a year ago when they announced huge cash bonuses for tattling on your neighbors and spies to spy for the IRS, and that the IRS no longer has to have warrants, and that it was going to increase its enforcers, but only on blue collar and middle class, none, literally almost none for the rich. Yeah, but and, it's really it's really in your face over there. They've got posters and stuff, you know, where they're telling you to spy on your neighbors. No, I know. I agree with you, Kurt. It, 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 I agree. I mean, England's about three, four years ahead of us. Watson, you got to get out of there. As bad as the U.S. is, you got to get over here, bro. I mean, I mean that place. They're now announcing they're going to arrest everybody. This is out of the Wisconsin news. Court rules secret GPS tracking without a warrant is now illegal, and they say no more warrants for cops to stick GPS on your car. Uh, on top of that, England has announced what we said. Not only will satellite tracker boxes be in all your cars, taxing you by the mile, up to a pound a mile. That's two dollars a mile basically or almost two dollars they're now announcing it will regulate and control your car's speed with automatic shut off for the police that's right. bbc i mean and they're now announcing it here i mean my god the government remote controlling your car is big brother folks cameras in school bathrooms my, i mean that's why i'm free paul watson well the good news is alex the harder they push the more people see what's happening around them case in point 
regarding the internet again, Lycos.com, top 50 searches. You've got Facebook, Wikipedia, Drudge Report, Twitter. Who else is on there? Alex Jones, Infowars, GCN Live, Steve Quayle. <laughs> so in the top 50 searches with Facebook, Twitter, Wikipedia. Wait a minute, see, we don't even toot our own horns. You're telling me that we're in the top 50 searches now? It's not It's not Janet Jackson or uh, or uh, Anna Nicole Smith, it's us? Exactly, on Lycos.com. I've got the screenshots. Hey, I like that. Wow. No wonder the enemy is becoming upset. The emperor is going, we have a new enemy. Defeat Kurt Memo, Paul Watson, and Obi-Wan Alex Jones immediately. <laughs> Hey, guys, look, regardless, we're going up against hard...